Okay. So good evening, everybody. My name is Adeshino, and today we'll be looking at another Excel function known as the VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP. All right. So, yes, we'll be talking about the VLOOKUP today. And VLOOKUP is a very important Excel function that you can use to sort data. And it's, it has a lot of application in places like the supermarket. It has application in places like the warehouse. It has application in places where you have to deal with inventories, cashier work, accounting, Anywhere you have to manage a lot of data sets with some particular set of part numbers, VLOOKUP is the ideal tool to sort such data, all right? So take for instance, as you can see from my screen, I have a set of data and we have classification using part numbers, part name, part price, and status. Okay, so this is just like an inventory of different items in a particular store. The part number is the unique identifier for each um, part that you have in that store as at the point in time when this Excel was produced. And you have the costing in terms of the price in Naira and you have the status to let you know if that particular part is in stock or not in stock. So what we want to do with Excel at this point in time is to use Excel to determine two things. The part number and the part price, all right? So take for instance, if I have the part number and I impute a part number here, I want to use VLOOKUP to automatically get the part price of that particular part number as represented by this information. And somebody will ask that, why is this important? So if you're working in an organization where you work with a big, a very big data, this function will help you to easily sort data and get the price of an item when you have items in hundreds or even in thousands, okay? So how do we use the VLOOKUP function? So first thing first, you start by putting the operand, all right? So you start by putting the operand, which is equals to then you start by typing VLOOK. Before you finish, you can see Excel has brought up an option for us for VLOOKUP. So you use the tab key on, your, on the left side of your keyboard to open up the operation. So the first thing it says is lookup value. When we talk about lookup value, what do we mean? Lookup value means the value that we are going to put that will give us or return a price in this particular cell. If you go and highlight it also, you can click and Excel on its own will give you a definition for VLOOKUP. But that, it was, but that is exactly what it is. What it's used for is to tell us the value that we are going to impute that will return a particular price in this cell that we are trying to automate. And in our case, our lookup value will be cell G2, all right? So once I have that, I put a comma. So Excel is asking me next that what is my table array, all right? So, for my table array, what I'm going to do is to highlight this information. 
which is the entire information I have. So once that is done, that is fine. So I move up back to my function and I put a comma. So next thing I have there is the column index number. What is the importance of the column index number? So Excel is working with column, all right? A is column one, B is column two, C is column three, D is column four. If we have other information, we can continue with column five represented by E, F in that order, but we don't have more. So this is where we stop. And anytime you are working with VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP works from the left to the right, meaning that our column index one will be where you have the part number. And in this case, what we are looking for is the part price. So one will not suffice for us. How about two? Two is for part name. But what we are looking for is part price. So two will not suffice as well. But three, three is part price. And here we are looking for part price. So that is exactly what we are looking for. So what we are going to do at this point is to just put three here. VLOOKUP counts from left to right. Don't forget that, all right? Then the next thing that Excel asks is for a range lookup. So in this range lookup, Excel says, are we looking for approximate match or exact match? Since we already have this data cataloged inside Excel, what we are looking for is an exact match. So we'll double click on false and we close the bracket. Once that is done, you press enter. So you can see now we have not applicable, right? And somebody will say, oops, this is a challenge. Don't worry, it is not a challenge. What Excel is just telling you is that since we don't have anything displayed here, then you don't have a result for your part price. So take for instance, let us work with um, part number A0008 and I highlight it one more time. So let us work with this. So if I should put the part number here, so let's go A008 and I press enter. So you can see now we have a price, isn't it? which gives us 87.73. And what is the price for um, A2208 is 87.73. So we are right on track, all right? So that is the power of the VLOOKUP, all right? So you can see it's as easy as that. So take it out. So now before, we move on to using the VLOOKUP to sort for other information. I want to clear out this um, not applicable. And I'm going to use my logical function, which is the if function. This time I'm going to use the if NA. So I'll just come here and I'll say if and A, all right, so this is my value. So I'll say if N A, just make it blank and I close the bracket. All right, and I press enter. So now you see it is blank. I've used the if NA to remove it. So let's try it. Let's try another part number. So let's come to 
A17. Let me highlight that again. All right. So now let me put A015 and I move out. So you can see it still displayed a figure for me. All right, which is 4.36. And that is what we have here. So our Excel function is working very well. So that is how to use the VLOOKUP for sorting data. Thank you.